Hey everyone, welcome back to Magic Time. I'm your host, Thomas, coming to you live from my home here in the beautiful Napa Valley to present you another wine review, a collector's wine review. And this little wine right here is rather unique. Now we've all heard of Penfolds, right, in Australia. Penfolds is the home of the famous Penfolds Grange, one of the best wines in all of the world and most collectible. Um, Penfolds is iconic in Australia, and we know that brand well, and they've produced Australian wine for many years, but they have decided to do a series of wines which they call Wine of the World, and this is Penfolds Bin 149. This is a, not, a, not an inexpensive wine. I think it's around 135, 140 bucks retail. And what Penfolds Bin 149 is, is it's a blend of both California Cabernet Sauvignon and Australian Cabernet Sauvignon. It's actually 14.9% from Australia. Therefore, 149, 14.9%. And the rest, the 85.1% of the Cabernet is coming from the beautiful Napa Valley, my home here in Napa. Now, I believe that the fruit is mostly from Rutherford, and it's from Calistoga and Oakville, those three beautiful appellations, Oakville, Rutherford, Calistoga. And, um, you know, the owners of Penfolds are the Treasury Wine Group, and they own several different wineries here. So I would imagine that this fruit comes from one of Treasury's properties here in Napa, either Sterling, Beringer, Bolio Vineyards, or maybe in the Stag's Leap District, the Stag's Leap Winery. Those are all under the umbrella of the Treasury Wine Estates Group. And so um, they have beautiful vineyards at those properties, and the Cabernet is really classy. I believe this 18 vintage, the 2018 Penfolds Bin 149, is rated very highly. I think James Suckling gave it like 97 points. I know um, the Spectator, the Enthusiast, um, some of the other uh, critics and wine magazines have all rated it over 95 points. Um, I had a little bit of it last night, but I wanted to do a, a review of it today. So the wine has been open for about... 12, 16 hours at this point, but it needed that. The wine is, is very young. It's 2018. First off, the color of this wine, guys, is super deep and purple. It's very, very dark and rich, beautiful, opaque color. And I can already, after pouring the wine here, I can already smell the room filling up with the aroma from this wine. It's very aromatic. So on the nose, what I get is beautiful dark creme de cassis notes like creme de cassis liqueur, um, very expressive wine in the glass. Kind of an underlining like chocolatey note to it, almost like a chocolate truffle, like a raspberry filled chocolate truffle. A little bit of like a graphite or like little pencil lead and a little bit of kind of an earthy component to it, but almost like potting soil, like more of an organic earth uh, component to it. Um, rich kind of potting soil type note. But way out in the front there is that big, bold, ripe, beautiful, expressive, new world Cabernet notes. The very jammy and fruit driven. Also kind of like an underlining cream type component, like a vanilla, vanilla cream. Gorgeous, gorgeous aromatic tones to the wine. Very thick and viscous texture. Um, you'll notice when you spin the glass around that the wine is quite pigmented and viscous. Sticking to the glass, it's 14.9% alcohol, so moderate alcohol. Now let's give it a whirl here. Wow, this wine packs serious punch. It's rich, it's mouth coating, but it's elegant and has beautiful soft um, kind of mid palate and then finishes with a whole lot of grip. There's a lot of tannin on this wine. This wine is very powerful, age-worthy stuff. I would say, guys, that this wine will probably age for 15 plus years. Uh, right now, it's showing beautifully, but definitely too young to probably pop the bottle of uh, Penfold's Bin 149. If I had to give this a score on the 100-point scale, I'd be in the range of the others, 95 to 96 points, at, in probably in that range. This wine's got a lot of developing to do, guys. I bet if I open this wine in about 10 years from now, the score that I just gave it, I bet that would go up, guys. This is a stunner. It is an age-worthy wine and really unique because the appellation 
um, is just says America, American Cabernet Sauvignon on it, even though a small percentage of it is from Australia. It's over 85% from Napa Valley. And so it is an American wine, uh, primarily. Really neat wine, guys. Seek out Bin 149. It's not an inexpensive wine. Um, it's, I think it's somewhat rare. It's not going to be at every wine shop. But if you can get your hands on some of this stuff, if you bought a case of this, I know it would pay off and it would, uh, it would age really well in your cellar. So thanks once again for joining me here at the Magic Time Wine Channel. Love you guys. I love all the comments I get. Um, I love everyone that reaches out and wants like tips about Napa Valley and wants to learn about what they should do when they come on vacation here. It's my home, so I love that when people reach out. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And thank you so much for supporting me. Cheers.